from the Tie Cats Audio Network. This is Tie Cats Today with Braden Neville. On today's show, Stavros Katz and Tonus tells us about how his offseason has gone so far, what he thinks of some of these signings and re-signings, and gearing up for the 2024 season. It's Thursday, March the 7th, 2024, and this is Tie Cats Today. It's been a while since we've had the mongoose on the show. The last time was when he was fresh off inking that new deal with the Tie Cats, and a lot has happened since then. The Tie Cats have made tons of signings and lots of re-signings, and he caught up with me to break down the last couple of months. Davros, it's been a minute, man. How have you been since we last spoke? Yeah, I know. I think the last time we spoke, I just the, the ink hadn't even dried yet on the contract. <laughs> but uh, no, yeah, it's been good. Offseason has been going well, just doing, you know, the daily trainings, uh, you know, all, the, all that sort of stuff, getting ready for this upcoming season. I think I'm about like 60-ish days until I'm back in Hamilton. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to get back out there, get, get started in training camp and, and get the season rolling. How much is that training starting to gear up now as we approach this 2024 season? Oh yeah, I mean it's it's been geared up for a while now. You know, we're not we're not just starting yeah. all of a sudden, but uh, yeah, I mean obviously <laughs> it does ramp up as as training camp uh, you know comes into factor, and and you know the the biggest thing about the CFL is is the running right because that's what we do a lot of. So yeah, so definitely that get ramps ramped up as you uh, as you get closer to camp. But yeah, the uh, the training's been going great, hitting great numbers, uh, and yeah, just re- really excited to get on the field very soon. Are you getting even faster, Stavros? Is that possible? Is is the speed getting even better? Oh man, I don't want to. Th- I don't want to uh, let any secrets out. But there, <laughs> you know, maybe there, there there could be some new speed uh, c- coming this season. So yeah, there's okay. there's always new things that we're reaching for, and um, you know, trying to get better at, at each and everything heading into the season. What kind of training are you are you working on? Like, what 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 does your day look like normally? Yeah, so right now it's um you know usually starts with some sort of you know running speed agility um, depending on the day maybe some conditioning um you know that's usually about an hour maybe an hour and a half you know you throw in the the warm up the the travel time all that stuff to get to where you're where you're going um and then you know do a little <laughs> bit of rest in between that um you know make sure we're getting you know the proper things protein um you know the recovery in between um getting a good getting a good lunch in there as well um and then I'll usually go hit my lift. Um, you know, usually it's right now it's about a full body workout and, and, but yeah, just, just heading to the workout after that. And then, uh, you know, doing right now it's about a full body workout. So hitting the lower end upper, um, and some of the mobility stuff as well. Um, and then that usually wraps it up, uh, from the lift and, and training standpoint, but yeah, right now it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit more heavier, um, with the running stuff and things like that. So what's the go-to recovery meal for you? What do you, what are you eating after a big workout? Oh, go to recovery meal. I don't know if I have necessarily like a recovery meal per se as as more just a, you know, I like I like steak. I like, uh, you know, ground beef. So so something in the, you know, the burger tacos, something like that, the heavy protein, um, you know, some some healthy carbs and, uh, you know, obviously some healthy fats as well. So just just having a well-rounded meal uh, always hits the spot right after a good training session. Staff, since we last spoke, there's been a lot of new additions to this Tie Cats defense. I kind of want to talk to talk to you about a few of them, but the first one being a guy on the secondary who's coming, a guy you've played against a lot, and that's Jamal Peters. But how excited are you to to have that guy on your side and and to play with him? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think when I first saw that signing, you know, I was super excited to see a guy that's you know as locked down as Jamal is, and um, you know the plays he's made. You know, been in the NFL before. Um, has had great success in the CFL. Uh, I think I was just super excited. You know, it really reminded me of, of having a guy like Jamal Roll in the building um, where you have a guy that's a veteran in the CFL mm-hmm. that's had an NFL experience and is just a lockdown, lockdown corner in that boundary. So, um, you know, when I saw that signing, I was really excited. I've been able to talk with, uh, with Jamal a few times, you know, uh, here and there, just catch up on some defensive things, you know, things we're, we're planning to do this season. And, uh, you know, we've been, we've been gelling great so far and really excited to, you know, be able to meet him in person and just, uh, you know, get to work on the field. And a couple other guys coming back on this D-line, or not coming back, but joining the D-line, and that's Brandon Barlow, Dwayne Hendricks, a couple other ex-rivals turned teammates. So what's it like playing with those guys and having them now join you on this Ticats defense? Oh, yeah. I mean, we're always going to welcome welcome guys from up the QEW if they want to come and put on the the best colors in the CFL. You know, we're not going to stop them. So um, to see guys like that, you know, Hendricks and Barlow, uh, I've heard nothing but good things. Um, you know, great things actually about both of them, the type of players they are, the type of people they are. So, um, you know, super excited to get to work with guys like that. And, and uh, you know, I'm 
you know me, I'm always giving credit to the D-line anytime we get interceptions. So to, so to have guys that are going to get pressure and force the quarterback into making, you know, some bad decisions, many bad decisions this upcoming season, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to let those guys eat and go to work. Rich Leonard, savvy veteran, if you will. I'm very excited to see he'll be back. But how are you feeling about having him back? Such a, a guy who's just so poised all the time and, and always seems like he's always able to make plays no matter what it is or, or what position he's at. Yeah, definitely. I think Rich was one of those a little bit later signings as the as the window opened. So it was uh it was worrying me a little bit because Rich Rich is one of my guys, a great veteran presence in the room. You know, he's <laughs> he's had nothing but success in the CFL. I think, you know, last year he was one of the top, you know, coverage guys in the league. Um and he and he just he just goes to work every day. So to to see a guy like that, um, you know, be able to re-sign with the team and uh, you know, still be one of my teammates. I, you know, I couldn't be more excited. He was one of the guys I've, I've talked to a few times this offseason. I, I you know I'm, I'm calling him like, hey, have they have they sent you a contract yet? Like, are 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 you back yet? And, and he's like, no, not yet. It's just a and, and it's a process. That's that's how the league works. It's a business at the end of the day. But once the uh, you know yeah. once that stuff is, yeah. is is moved to the side and and you can play football, that's 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 the best part about it. So to be able to have a guy like him back is you know it's, it's just invaluable. The knowledge he has. Um, you know, the, the way he plays the game, the way he prepares for the game, um, you know, just a guy I love to play with. And, and I mean, Stavros, when these new guys are coming into Hamilton, you being a veteran guy now on this team, are you reaching out to players as you hear them signing some new guys might that are coming from other teams? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, definitely the DBs, when, when you hear that they're signed, you, you, know, you want to get in contact with them. And, uh, you know, obviously, let, let, it, let the dust settle first, because, you know, that first day when you sign, and it gets announced, your phone's probably blowing up. So, yeah. uh, you know, that initial just, you know, congrats, welcome to the team. And then, you know, from there, it's just, uh, you know, trying to build, you know, build that relationship before you get into camp. I think that's one of the most important things. That way, uh, you know, you're not starting behind and, or anything like that. Once camp starts, you can kind of you kind of have that uh, that chemistry already as it is, you know, off the field so that when you get on the field, you can just play. Yeah. So, um, yeah, definitely have reached out to a couple of guys that, uh, you know, that have signed and stuff like that and just you know, congratulated them. Started to, to tell them a little bit about how we do things in Tiger Town and, and you know, they're they're ready. They're, they're ready to go and, and get on board. So <laughs> one guy who won't be back next season and a legend in Hamilton. I want to get some words from you on him is Simone Lawrence announcing his retirement. But what can you say about your time with him and what he meant to this city? Yeah, I mean, it came, it came as a shock to me. You know, Simone's one of the best linebackers, if not the best uh, in the league. Uh, and, he, and he's shown it year in, year out, I think, for being, I think, what, he just turned 35 a couple weeks ago. And, you know, to, put, to have one of the seasons that he had last year, um, you know, most mm-hmm. outstanding defensive player on the team, uh, all the plays that he's made, you know, it's, uh, it's been an honor to play alongside him these last few years and, and just learn, um, you know, from a savvy vet, a dude that's you know uh, a hall of gonna walk into the hall of fame gonna be on the wall of honor his name in, and you know will be up there in the rafters at tim hortons field very soon um and who knows maybe that number will be retired very soon as well so um just to be able to play with a guy like that it, it's been a true honor um you know i'm it's, it's a big congrats to him in his retirement you know i know he's he's definitely earned everything that he's uh he's, he's getting being able to stay back in hamilton i'm super excited that He'll be around, you know, because his uh, if you if for the people that haven't met Simone, uh, at least in person, his his, um, you know, enthusiasm and all that, you know, his character, it's just it's very contagious. He's always, you know, ready to go energetic. Um, and, and, you know, he just wants to spread that to the people around him. So I think he's uh, he's going to have some great things coming to him in this next chapter, um, his graduation of his life. So, uh, you know, just super excited that at least he gets to be around, yep. you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm excited. I get to see him still on the daily, um, around, uh, Tim Hortons field and, and, you know, just super excited for him in his next chapter. Yeah. That graduation, it will, it'll be exciting to see Simone still around Tim Hortons field. He's such a legend of the game staff. I've been seeing a little bit on social media. You are a Lego now you have your own oh. Lego character. Is, <laughs> yeah, is that I'm, true? What's going on with that? We're we're working on it. It's uh it's in process. You know, contacting some manufacturers. We'll see if we can get a, a bulk order shipped over to the the uh, the uh, Tim Hortons field shop over there, and, and see if we can get a few sales going of some other players as well. But yeah, just just something. Uh, my brother and I were were kind of just messing around with saw a video on Instagram, and I was like, hey, you know, he's a UI UX designer, yeah. you know, phenomenal at his job, and uh, you know, does some really great things on the graphics end. And I was like, hey, do you think you think you could do this? And he's like. 
yeah, it'll take me a couple months to actually, you know, get that 3D rendered and, uh, you know, edited and all that. And I think he actually did it way quicker than that. I think he did it in about like 30 days, maybe. Um, but when I saw the first kind of rendering of them, I was like, oh, wow, this is like, this is like next level. Like we could maybe, I think the first thing I sent him is like, hey, do you think we could like sell this? <laughs> was my thing. Cause I know people would be interested. I know Simone has a, I'm pretty sure a Lego and, and you know, the Thai cats did some Lego partnerships back in the day. Um, but if that could be brought back, I know, I mean, everything that I've seen so far in the comments, everyone is like, where can I get one? All that sort of stuff and do some edits and stuff like that with guys. So, um, you know, I think just bringing some more, I guess, more pop culture stuff to the CFO, I think for the, for the younger generation, I think would be huge, especially with these Legos and, and maybe make it some sort of like collector's type item. So I think that'd be something that, uh, would be cool that we could do in the upcoming future. You're going to have a new DB coach for, for next season, Brandon Isaac. Is he a guy that's reached out to you or out, reached out to you at all? Yeah, yeah, we've connected so far. Um, I think right when it was announced, uh, I you know talked to Coach Wash and and he had he got me connected with Coach Isaac and you know we had a great talk initially and um, you know just just super excited to get coached by a, a CFL mind like that who's who's been coaching for a while, played in the league a while, um, you know has a great cup under his belt as well as a player. Um, and you know I, I'm I'm always always itching to learn more and and be coached. I think that's one of the the hidden secrets about being a great player is, is never, never stop getting coached or never think that you know everything. I think that's kind of maybe a, a, just a life thing. Never think, you know, everything, um, you know, type deal. So super excited that he's on board, um, you know, and, and just going to be able to pick his brain, you know, week in, week out on, you know, how we can be better as a defense, especially as DBs. Um, I think it's going to be real awesome. I mean, it's one of those guys, he's a guy who's been in the league. He's played a lot of these new guys coming in on that coaching staff. I'm noticing have played a lot of games in the CFL, have that experience. One guy that you're used to is Coach Washington returning. How much are you talking to him throughout an offseason as you as you kind of gear up for the next year? Oh, yeah. I mean, a little bit, but not not too much. You know, I know I know everyone likes to enjoy their offseason. Coach Wash has a family. I know I know, uh, you know, his kids, kids. His kids are doing great, um, you know, with what they're doing at both in the universe. One's in university, the other's getting ready, um, you know, and a son. So, um, and he's got, you know, amazing wife and, and family around him too. So I, I don't try to bug him too much. I know he's he's the same, but when I do connect up with him, it's always, hey, you know, what what are we doing this year? What are we planning to do? That type of thing. Um, and he's always like, just, you know, be patient, enjoy, enjoy your off season. Uh, you know, you're going to be back soon. And, and, you know, he's, he's a really good guy to talk to, you know, not only just as, as a football coach, but just a great mentor as well. Um, really understands life and, uh, understands people. Um, and yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's a great dude that I, you know, have connected with a few times this off season and just always, just always staying in touch. Um, you know, getting ready for the season, talking football when, when the time arises and, uh, yeah. I'm sure you guys you, you see enough of each other throughout the uh, throughout the season. You don't need to be talking every single day, but uh, definitely good to have a guy like that as your coach. Before we go, one final question here, Stab. But how fired up are you for training camp just to get things going here? Yeah, I'm I'm so excited to get back to Mac and uh, you know hit the field, hit the dorms there, all that. Um, you know all the great food that we get fed during training camp. You know it's a it's an awesome thing. The meeting just all the football players that are coming yeah. from all these different backgrounds. You know not only just the guys that are returning, but the new guys that are coming in. You know could be you know tomorrow's CFL stars. So um, it's just it's it's an awesome thing, especially with the off season being kind of as long as it is. You you slowly start to get antsy of like, oh, I just want to, you know, I'm ready. To, I'm ready to get into training camp. And then you get into training camp and it's like, oh man, I need, I need kind of like a little bit of a break. Cause you know, I'm super sore and, and stuff like that. But uh, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm super excited to get back there and just be with all the guys, play football, do what I do. Um, and just, you know, just enjoy that. So yeah, I can't, I, I'm counting down the days for sure. Getting back to Hamilton. It's, you know, it holds a special place to my heart, obviously. So, um, you know, super excited to get back to the people, um, the food, the culture, all that. So yeah, very excited. Well, Stavros, I appreciate you joining me, man. And uh, looking forward to seeing you at training camp. Great. Always as, as always catching up with you. So we'll talk to you soon. We're getting two months away now to being at Ron Joyce. So we're almost there, buddy. Thanks again. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, Brain. Appreciate you.